Now for the next couple of videos, we are going to be expounding and talking about a word called repent or repentance. Now in order for us to understand what this word, what this word really means is to simply open our holy scriptures and to find how the Bible defines and how the Bible uses this word called repent. Now the first one that I have here for you is actually found in Genesis chapter 6 and verse 6 it mentions and it repented the Lord that he had made man on the earth and it grieved him at his heart. So here we find that the Lord repented and what did he repent of? From creating man according to the scripture here. Now look at Exodus chapter 32 verse 14 and it tells us and the Lord repented of the evil which he thought to do unto his people. So here once again we find the word repent and who repented? The Lord repented. What did he repent of? He repented of the evil that he thought that he would do unto his people. Now if in case you're still doubting what the word repent really means, well here's another clear one for you. And this one's found in Jonah chapter 3 verse 10. And it tells us, And God saw their works, that they turned from their evil way, and God repented of the evil that he had said that he would do unto them, and he did it not. So repent, according to the scriptures, we find that the Lord repented. You know, now a very total misconception that I hear out there many times, or maybe by people who don't know the Bible, uh, they misuse this word called repent. They start adding words into it. They start saying repent from, from your sins. That's what it means. Repent simply means to repent from your sins. Now that is a huge error because that is not how repentance is used according to the passages here. Because we know that God has no sin to repent from. So clearly we find that repentance does not mean to repent from your sins. But it simply means to change of, of a plan or change of what you were about to do. And now why is this important? Why is this, um, why is this even necessary to talk about? I'll tell you why. Because people out there sometimes misuse this word and they say you must repent from all of your sins. Now think about that a little bit. Have, can anybody really do that? Can can people actually repent from all of their sins? You know, I mean, you can try. You can go ahead and, and say, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and repent from all of my sins. But it's you're simply just lying to yourself. And not only that, God knows you're lying. Because it's humanly impossible to actually repent from all of your sins. Now, when we add this doctrine about repenting from your all of your sins to be saved... Again, now you're teaching a false gospel. Why is that? Because you're not really leaning onto what Jesus Christ has done, which is paying for all of your sins. But now you're leaning onto what you can do, which is, hey, I'm doing it. I'm the one who's repenting of all of my sins. So now you're glorifying yourself by saying that you have repented from all of your sins. When now we understand that repent simply means to change of mind. Okay. Now, there's nothing wrong with repenting from your sins, but to repent from your sins to be saved. Now, that's a false gospel because nobody can do that. We're all sinners. Now, more importantly than all of this, I want to go ahead and ask you a very serious question. This question has to do with eternity. God forbid, but if you were to die today, are you 100% sure that you are on your way to heaven? If you're not, I want to go ahead and encourage you to, to click on the video called The Bible Way to Heaven. Other than that, God bless.